Hey guys, it's Florence. I know I've been going for so long. Yes, I know. I'm working on this little issue right now, so I'm patiently waiting. But today I decided to come to you guys for a video that I'll be getting asked left and right. That was my right. Bruh. Left and right. <laughs> Okay, so today I'm gonna tell y'all 10 things that you should know before starting a YouTube channel. Why I get this question so much? Jesus Christ. So I'm gonna go ahead and go off my experience. If somebody was out there in this world that could help me out and give me these tips, I would have been so grateful. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more of my videos. Without further ado, let's just hop into the tips. Tip number one, I will say, be mentally prepared to start a YouTube channel. It's not something you just say, oh, I'm starting a YouTube channel, and then down the road you're not consistent, and your subscribers be like, oh my God, where she at? Where she at? Where she at? <laughs> Tip number two, I want you to know, as soon as you start a YouTube channel, a lot of networks are gonna be coming out to you, reaching out, saying, partner with us, we'll give you this, we'll give you that. Just do your research, that's all I can say, because I have had my share of horrible, and I don't want you to end up down that road. Do your research, make sure it's 100% legit, like they say they are. But other than that, do your research, don't fall for it, because I did. Tip number three, just be you, because sometimes, people will try to like, tug on this side, tug on this side. Oh no, I want you to do this, oh no, I want you to do this. You do what you want to do that will make you happy because it's your channel at the end of the day. If they legitly like you, they'll stick around no matter what you post on your channel. So always make yourself happy first because you're you. You're not them. So you don't have to go with what people say. Just you. Tip number four, when you start recording your videos, make sure your background is nice, which mine is never is. So shout out to my fan in their background. Love you, but make sure it's clear enough where it's not distracting from people. Like when you're talking, they're not looking in the background like, oh, is that a cheeseburger, girl, yeah. Next tip, I wanna say equipments. When you're just starting, you don't have to be all uppity up, uppity up, with high quality equipment. Like when I just started, I started with an HD camera from Target and I believe it was just $100, so that was perfect for me starting off and getting to know YouTube more and see if it was something I wanted to do before I went and splurged on some equipment. Next thing I'm gonna say, it's okay to reach out to people, you know, that's how you make friends. YouTube is more fun when you have YouTube besties, YouTube friends, like somebody who is always there, y'all both are here. So it's great to like make YouTube friends. Just don't be all shy like, oh my God, I don't know how they're gonna react if I ask. Most likely the person gonna be acting the same way too and they'll wanna interact with you. So don't feel scared to reach out and make YouTube friends. Next, I wanna say let your video show your personality. Let your talking show your personality. Don't start off today saying, oh hey, guys, it's Florence. And then two years later, you like a whole new person and your subscriber be like, who is that? Like, keep as far as subscriber goes, you can reach out to people and say, hey, would you like to check out my channel? Not stalkery. Don't stalk. Don't don't spam. Don't stalk. YouTubers don't like that. I don't like that. Most likely you can reach out. That's how you make YouTube friends, but don't spam people. Spamming. Oh God. Spamming should be a crime. So next tip is appearance. Like if you're on a camera, oh my God, I'm so guilty of this. When I look back at my videos from like a year ago, and I'm like, Jesus, Florence. Why, Lord, somebody should help me out? Make yourself presentable, okay? <laughs> Cause I need to just get up and go. Like, because first impression is everything. So if I click on a video and you're looking crazy, I probably will watch it because that's my personality, but some people will be like, ew, you do have some nasty hygiene. But I like knowing why somebody is dressed like that. But before I just need to get up and go like, okay, my hair is whatever. But now, because of doing YouTube, I have matured a lot. So thank you. Thank you, YouTube God. I mean, a YouTuber don't mean you're a YouTuber overnight. There's tons of stuff you need to do, like having an editing software is really important because you cannot just upload your 30 minutes video you gotta chop there's plenty of editing software out there there's iMovie there's Final Cut Pro there's Sony Vegas I recommend you go with Windows Live Movie Maker because it's free for desktop 
and then you have iMovie if you have a Mac so either one of those is great for beginners because you don't know yet how to edit so if you become professional then you can upgrade to Sony Vegas or Final Cut Pro or all the other ones that's out there in the world trust me it's a lot just figure out which one is best for you before you go and purchase some stick with the cheap the the free ones and learn how to edit first and then move on so for lighting if you don't have lighting that's okay it's not the end of the world it just means you are limited to filming meaning you cannot film unless it's in the daytime because you need natural lighting and make sure you are facing a window so the light can shine upon your gorgeous face and <laughs> And it's an easier way to film because natural lighting is the best lighting out there in the world. But if you are, you have been doing YouTube and you want to get lighting, like for me, I want lighting but I cannot get the three boxes because my room is so little and I share with a lot of people I cannot set up. I just have a ring light that I got clipped. Last but not least tip, enjoy yourself. Enjoy your YouTube journey. It is so fun. You meet people from all over the world. Like for example, when I have live chats and people say, greetings from New York, greetings from England, greeting from Africa. I'm like, oh my God. Yeah. It's so amazing. It makes you feel so good to know that you're making change in other people's lives and you're motivating people, somebody looking up to you. It is so fun. So YouTube can be the best thing that ever happened to you if you stay true to yourself and you are dedicated. So guys, I hope this video was really helpful to you. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below if it was helpful to you. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.